morning, everyone. It is day five on our family adventure. Day 500. No. 500. What are we doing today? Uh, pirate ship, maybe golf. Pirate ship and maybe golf. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Why not? Do you want to do that, Mommy? I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure that out. I guess we'll go to the pirate ship today. Let them swim at the pirate ship. And go, and go down the giant water slide. Go down the giant water slide. And you going to go down there? Probably not. Yeah, probably more than likely not. But, not in my back should be fun. Um, we all kind of slept in this morning, well, except Heather, but for some reason she didn't say good morning to everybody. Good morning. Listen, I don't think they wanted to hear from me at like 3 in the morning. Actually, I got up at 12.30 last night. Um, well, that would be this actually morning. up, up. Yeah, that's me. I was up, up at 3.30. And I let go back to school. At like 9. So, anyway, getting a little little bit of a late start. Uh, we got brunch cooking right now, and uh, and I'm gonna go. After that, we'll in the blanket. Get stuff going. She wants you to brush her hair, y'all. So, listen, my hair's really long and tingly, and it, he does so good on it. No. Daddy brushes my hair. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like I have a job to do. We'll be back. Basically, the water on that one should be good. That's close because it has to get clean. But the other one should be good. So, yeah. Say hi. Hi. Hi, I'm some more. Hello. And Papa Mozo, if you're watching, I guess. Today is turning out to be a lazy day. Anyway, we're gonna try to make it to the pool. We're trying. And y'all left without your mask. This is a water boot camera to Bobby just came. Start to thunder. So they kicked us out. So we're waiting for the storm to pass. Doesn't look like it's going to be a major thing. So 
I'll be downstairs. That's you great. Stay here so I can see you show me. A little foggy. A little foggy. That's because of the humidity out here. Um, yeah. So, just kind of waiting for the storm to pass and then right, here. maybe I'll. Are you eating fish food? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we'll see how that works out. Alright, we'll check in with you. Alright, y'all. Uh, we are at nighttime now. We took another small nap today. Today is one of those lazy days. I kind of mentioned it earlier. I love this view. I kind of mentioned it earlier. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's okay to have. It's okay to have a lazy day. But I wanted to point this out. Does this pool look like a penis? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> it's, it's a valid question. Look, you got one ball, I keep on two balls, <laughs> and a penis, and stairs where it squirts the people out. Right? Sure. Just saying. Anyway. You guys want to see another aspect to autism and traveling with autism? Besides the penis pull? Yeah. I thought that was most interesting. Okay, so even on in resorts or a hotel, a hotel not... Uh, let's, let's get someone. this view better. Okay. Yeah, a little better. So, one of the things we have to deal with is um, where can he hide? So, he has a lot of sensory overload, things like that. Um, even though he has a room here, he still needs a place to hide. He can't get under the beds because there aren't kickboards. So, um, we've had to make other accommodations. <laughs> so, if you guys would like to see that, we can show him where he's at. Can we say hi? Hi. Does he have an electrical charge going down there? He does. His phone was dying, so we accommodated. Ooh, can I find the charge? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's funny. So there you go. Just another little autism trick. <laughs> yeah. But he's safe. In his mind, he's safe, and he's, well, he's able just... to come down, and yeah, yep, it works. It'll work. I had to find new spots for my pots of pants, but it's okay. It works. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Here you go. I gotta right. pull the pizza out. All right. Yours is already out. You can pull whatever you want out. All right. Um. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have some pizza. Tonight. So this is mine. Looks yummy. And is that yours? Yes. Okay. I'll show them yours. Is it done? Yes, it is. Perfect. Let's take a look at this. I think I put my hand in front of the camera earlier when I was flipping the screen. It is a gluten-free supreme pizza. And very, very hot. hot. So, that's what we're going to have tonight for dinner. It's supposed to be a lunch, but it turned out to be a dinner because, like I said, a lazy day. And that's okay. You can have lazy days on vacation. That's the whole point of, well, vacation. So, we'll make up for it tomorrow. Maybe we'll hit off the golf course I know Casey's been wanting to do that, and maybe we'll try another pool. I mean, like I said, they have plenty of pools to choose from around here. I'd like to try our own. We haven't even tried the pool next to the, the penis pool. 
Um, <laughs> why are you laughing? Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we're definitely gonna try some another pool tomorrow. We've done both lazy rivers, but we're definitely gonna go back to another lazy river because I didn't buy these rafts, these tubes for nothing. Right? Right. Alright. So I think it's dinner time and we will catch y'all on the other side of dinner. Alright y'all here at the studio or the makeshift uh, vacation studio. Uh, dropping off some of the footage of the day and it is interesting to say the least. I want to tell you guys about it but you guys have already seen it by the time you see this. So, anyway, it was a cool day. Uh, the kids going through the the tubes with the video camera and uh, having a blast. So, right before the storm. But anyway, uh, let's see. So I dumped that video. I've got Heather's camera to dump still, if there's anything on it. I don't think, did you use your camera today? No. So it might be just my camera today, which is very unusual that another camera didn't get used. What you doing? Hi, I'm on the phone. Imagine that. Like we know these people or something, I don't know. Yeah, like they're not important, right? What are you going to do? Well, they're not. <laughs> Whatever. Um, well, when they learn to drive on the right side of the road, then maybe they might uh, become important, you know? But anyway, uh, going to be... So what am I going to do and then you stop? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, we were talking about how I talk to them all the time and so we're going to do it. Oh, what are you going to do if, or it's not if, when we're on a cruise ship and there's no service? I hope you have some money because I'm not paying for that. That was only because we didn't have kids. And you were like, oh, I want to stay in contact with the kids. Uh, yeah, you said that. I would never say something like that. Okay, here you outside. All right. So I don't know if we're gonna fog up, but I'm gonna give you all another view of this. I love this view. Like this view can never ever get tiring. Just saying, never ever, ever 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 get tiring. Uh, yeah, we're fogging up a little bit, but that's all right. But like that fountain. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So we were going to use the grills down there tonight. But then it turned out to be a lazy day. And we decided not to do the grills tonight. Ooh, security walking by. Shh. I don't want them to know I'm out here. <laughs> um... But, you know, like I said, we don't have much video for today to show for today, but it's okay. It's okay to have lazy days on your vacation. That's the whole point of it. And, you know, I'm vlogging not only for you guys, but, you know, I, as you know, we started this channel for the family, for family memories. And... I want them to remember this when I'm long gone. I want them to remember the fun times they had with their mom and dad. If I do that, then it's not so bad. Okay, block out the light from the room. Um, but yeah, I mean, I want the kids to look back on this and. You know, hopefully YouTube is around for a long time or something that, you know, buys it in the future to keep something going, you know, this channel or whatever. But 
Anyway, I know YouTube's been around for years and years, so. And we're late to the game, but we're here. And that's what that's what counts. I love I love what I, you know, I love what we do, what we do with this channel. The community members that we have come across. You know, last time we vlogged, we only knew the big guys, but they didn't know us. You know, but now the big guys know us. They know when we come into their chats, say, oh, it's us and more. That's pretty cool. But it's the same way, like when they come into our chats, it's really cool. And, you know, one day we're going to be as big as these other channels. And I want to remember where this channel came from. You know, like I said, last time we did vlogging, nobody really still knew of us and more. Yeah, we had some views. Yeah, we had some followers. But when we vlogged our paradise, we didn't even have 100 subscribers yet. So, it, or the, yeah, the uh, Carnival Paradise vlogs, we didn't even have 100 subscribers yet. So, to be where we are today, at this point in our YouTube career, I think we're in a good place. You know, like I said, not only do we know the other little, you know, smaller uh, vloggers out there, other travel community, you know, people, but they know us. And even the big ones, like I said, they know us. So it's pretty cool. I love I love the cruising community and everybody in it. I love it. I love everyone that's in it. And I seem like I'm rambling, so I'm just going to continue to uh, do whatever I'm doing. I don't even remember anymore. But, you know, I hope you guys are watching these vlogs and enjoying them. Because we enjoy putting them together for you guys. That way you can live curiously through our eyes. And we do the same thing with other people's vlogs. And all the ones that are in Mexico currently. Uh, like Midlife Crazy and so on and so forth. You know, one of our partner channels. Uh, look forward to their vlogs. So, I know everybody's itching to get out there and doing some vlogs. But <clears throat> it's hard to do when your cruising community and cruise ships are still shut down. But if you can get out to a resort, you know, it doesn't have to be Mexico. Like, we didn't do Mexico this go. We did, you know, Orlando. We're three hours away from home, so it's not that bad of a drive for us. And, you know, we get a... We're outside our regular four corners, you know, our four walls of our house. We're doing something adventurous. And that's what I am enjoying. So, anyway, it's been a pretty long rant, so I'm going to go ahead and call it good. And uh, I think we're going to be cutting out for the night. So, if you haven't done so already, uh, let me do this instead leave it the right way if you haven't done so already and this is your first time at our channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get all of our latest and greatest uploads and live shows as all these Club Wyndham Bonnet Creek vlogs are coming out so make sure you uh, click the notification bell so you can get it when we upload it and also, like I said, our live shows that we do every other Tuesday and every Friday. Every other Tuesday is at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also are on Facebook and Twitter at SMORYT. You can also check out our uh, Facebook Extended Family group page where you can interact with us and everybody else that's in our community. 
you can go to Facebook and search us a more extended family or you can just go to the URL directly facebook.com backslash groups backslash us and more YT so like I said guys we're gonna go ahead and end it for the night this is a beautiful view from our room and coming back inside so Heather can end it with me if I can get her attention want to end it with me yeah. this is us and more we're living, living life to the fullest, fullest. bye, bye guys, guys.